white balance, what it is, and how to use it. Let's learn how to use this important control on your camera in order to get accurate or creative color. These three images each have a problem. The one on the left is too blue, the one on the top is too green, the one on the right is too yellow. This is a common problem and it's caused by using the wrong white balance setting on your camera. Let's learn how to fix that. You can access the white balance on your camera usually through a menu item. Check your owner's manual, it will tell you how to get to the white balance control on your camera. Virtually every camera has a white balance control. Generally it will offer you an auto setting and that's where you'll want to leave it for most of the time. In fact, 90% of your images will turn out fine on the auto setting. However, let's learn about the other settings so you can understand how to, how to control the color a little bit more accurately. Generally you'll have some additional settings such as daylight, shade, cloudy, tungsten or indoor incandescent lighting, fluorescent, flash, and the custom setting which we'll learn more about later. In order to use the custom setting you need to have a white card that you can use to set the white balance accurately. Now let's look at some images. This is a shot of a model done in the studio and as you can see the color is accurate. The background is white, her shirt is white, the gray in the chair is a nice neutral color. I used the flash setting on this because I was using studio flash units to shoot this picture. Now the one on the left <coughs> is the correct picture, the one on the right is what it would look like shot with the cloudy white balance setting. As you can see it's added some yellow to the image. It's not unpleasing but it's not entirely accurate. The colors are not quite as true to the original. This is what happens if I use the shade setting. Again it adds a little bit more yellow. That's because the color in the shade is a little bit bluer than the color from a flash unit. So to compensate that white balance setting adds yellow to the image. Now this is the strange effect I get if I use the tungsten setting. Since I wasn't using tungsten lights which have a lot of yellow in them, I get a very blue image. However, if I had shot this under indoor lighting just, just with incandescent lights then that color would be more accurate. And this is the effect I get with fluorescent. Fluorescents are very weak in the red so this adds a lot of red to the image. Also some blue. As you can see it's not very pleasing when I'm shooting under strobe units with the fluorescent setting. So if your goal is to have accurate color, you need to pick the white balance setting that's correct for the color that you're using. Again, the auto may work, but depending upon the colors in your subject, it may get thrown off. So your best bet if you want the most accurate color is to use the correct white balance setting for the lighting under which you're shooting your subject. Now let's talk about some creative uses of white balance. This is a sunset shot that I used shot with the auto setting on the camera. It's not a bad image and uh, in fact I kind of like it. The colors are not bad. But let's see what happens if I play around with the white balance setting. If I go to the daylight setting it adds a little bit of yellow which I think is a nice effect. It gives me a little bit more of a sunset feel because the sunset is a much warmer color than the noon daylight. If I go to a cloudy setting it adds even a little bit more yellow which again is a nice effect. It's totally dependent upon what you as the photographer want. But the nice thing is I can do this in camera and not later. Now if I go to the shade setting I get even the warmest color. Again I haven't had to go to Photoshop or any other image editing program. I've simply changed the white balance in the camera to get an effect or a look that I want when I'm shooting the image. This is shot with flash and it's back to a little bit less of a warm color. Still not bad. It's just a matter of experimentation to see which color I like for this particular image. Here's what happens if I shoot under fluorescent. It's kind of fun. It's a little different approach to a sunset shot. Probably not the one I would use, but again it's nice to know that it's there in case I want that particular look. And now we'll see what the image would look like under the tungsten setting. Now it sort of looks like a uh, shot that was maybe done right after sunset or maybe, maybe done by moonlight. And it gives me a nice blue effect, which again if that's what I want, that's the way to get it without having to mess with the image later. Okay, let's talk about how to do a custom white balance. Here I'm photographing an object and it's important that the object be the correct color in the final image. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go to my camera and I'm going to set my custom white balance. And in order to do this, I have to know uh, quite honestly what the procedure is. And so that's going to vary with every uh, particular camera. And here I happen to have my owner's manual, which I always keep with me. So I've gone through and I've read. I find out that what I have to do is actually take a picture of a white card and we'll do that. <coughs> and 
then I'm able to go in and select that image and tell it that I want that to be my custom white balance. Be sure it's set on custom. And then I can actually photograph the object, take whatever pictures I need to take. And uh, then I will know that the color is going to be accurate. Another thing that I can do is actually go ahead and photograph a gray card in the shot so that I have a reference for later to be sure that my color is accurate. Using the custom white balance setting does take extra effort, but it's the best way to get the most accurate color out of your camera. Let's review. You can leave your camera set on the auto white balance setting the vast majority of the time and you'll get good results. This is fine for snapshots and most everyday photos. You can also use some of the other settings to play around with tweaking the color to get the specific effect that you like or to make the color more accurate. But the custom white balance setting is the most important if you really need to get accurate color in your images. Learn how to use it.